While today we recognize the need to preserve shipwrecks and prohibit the removal of souvenirs, early Bermudians relied on shipwrecks to build their economy. Bermudians often plundered sunken ships searching for iron, which was in short supply, to make things like knives, nails, and forks. Without a shipwreck, you had to buy it, which was expensive. A shipwreck was a great bonus. It's a very important part in the economy of Bermuda. Because Bermuda's wrecks lie in shallow water and are quickly torn apart by the pounding surf, discovering shipwrecks here requires having a sixth sense to know where to look and a trained eye that knows how to look. A pile of rocks that blends into the sea floor might actually be ballast from a lost ship. Or what seems to be a rotting tree may be a ship's skeleton. In the case of this 17th century wreck, which Teddy calls the tankard after an artifact he found in 1965, an unusual rock formation tipped him off to the existence of a shipwreck. One of the most significant finds was porcelain. In the old days, when this was first purchased and begun to be traded, how, was it very valuable? How much was it worth? Yeah, but this, this was what the, a real prize item. The first time that this was introduced to Europe, was brought in by Marco Polo, and that was when the Europeans got aware of it. They would weigh it and then match it with gold, so it was worth its weight in gold. 